Welcome back guys. In this video, let's take a look at how we can write our custom mail messages, uh, not mail messages, but mail, vali uh, mail form validation messages. Um, rather than sticking to Laravel standard messages, uh, we can more make them more intuitive, more uh, informative. So um, it's just one of the things we need to learn. So we can incorporate that kind of customization um, in a different app or in a different uh, environment or situation, you know. So let's open up. Um, so I, I've just uh, fired up my Homestead machine. It's up and running, and my app is listening at uh, this virtual host at port 8000. So that's our form. And when I try to submit, this is what we get: email field is required, subject is required, message is required. Well, this is just the default for default. Um, message now if you want to write on something different it's very easy all you have to do is open up the mail form validation request like so and we're going to create a new method here which is basically writing uh, it's actually going to override one of the mess one of the methods associated in this class uh, it's called messages messages and how how to write such a um, message is basically these are the fields we're checking these are the um, input fields we're actually validating and this is the criteria so basically you say email and it's required so if there's no email there are two rules here one is required and one is valid email which is um, like here is two different rules one is basically three rules um, it has to be minimum two characters and maximum 150 characters and it's required so it cannot cannot be empty or null and likewise so you can write rules for everything for example email dot required and whatever gibberish you want to put it in email dot required hey what's up this is my custom message I'm gonna save it and let's test it out really quickly so I'm gonna submit and now it's overridden as you can see oh it's just too big okay so hey what's up this is my custom message and I can I can write down another rule for example email dot email and that should fire up this message which is doesn't quite look, look like an email uh, I haven't really tried this but I have a feeling it should work because there are two different rules so for each rule it should work uh, differently for example there's no email it should give me hey what's up this is my custom message and if I type something for example a at the rate um, b.com but then I put a space here then it should say it doesn't quite look like an email so for every rule um, for example this is the name of the field or the variable that's been passed onto the request and these are the validation rules so by creating this uh, array and then make sure to return this I usually create a messages variable and then I return messages like so I like to create this way so I can just create a, a new array with key values and I can return it I like to do this way and also um, in this case we have uh, if the request fails we're actually taking the user back to the same page which is completely um, like the normal behavior of the application but if you wanna customize that URL you can do so by uh, just um, you can configure this variable protected redirect 
uh, and you can say for example uh, I want to go back to the let's just say let's take a look at the routes file what's our home view and I want to go back to let's say let's say here which is the home so mail form validation here so I want to go back to the home now if it fails it's going to take us back to the home and we won't see these error messages like this but uh, usually you know but I mean the logical beha behavior should be if you're trying to submit a form something is wrong bring bring it back to the form but uh, you can always customize it so um, for example if the form is right you know form is valid so you want to display a success message if the form is valid so you still want to bring it back to the form and that's where it's going to take you so you can say like I don't know um, yeah so if you don't you need to know how you can play around with all these options whether or not you will use them in the real world but sometimes you you may come across a situation where you want to make use of this I can't think of a situation right now but I'm sure there is a possibility someday uh, so like this you can create a override a method called messages and you can write your own custom messages for example here is subject minimum and just say subject dot min and just say you gotta be joking I I know so minimum is two characters so if in the subject I go here and I just type one character so the message should be you gotta be joking and like so you can be very intuitive and you can create a different kind of user experience you can customize your messages and make the make the user engage the user in a way that he really loves it so this 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 was a short video I wanted to do about custom messages so thanks for watching and in the next video we'll continue building our application further thank you I'll see you soon